A small but defiant crowd in Burkina Faso's capital, Ouagadougou, out to denounce a government unable to protect its citizens. There's been a rise in attacks by armed groups linked to Al-Qaeda and ISIL. This is a peaceful protest the government does not want to take place. Authorities arrested the organizers of the march on Friday, restricted access to social media, and threatened to lock down parts of the capital. Demonstrators see all this as an attempt to restrict dissent. The president was elected by the people, and now they tear gas us? This isn't right. The security forces are meant to protect us and our property, not attack us. The security forces are failing us. Last year, government forces lost control of border areas in the north and east. Last week, four French soldiers were wounded during a joint operation with Burkina Faso's military. Attacks now in the center of the country are forcing millions of people to flee towards what seems like the only safe place, the country's capital. We are frightened. At first, armed groups would come after us in the bush. But from one day to another, they started attacking villages. Now, entire districts are empty. Pretty soon, they will conquer provinces if this continues. Faced with so many military defeats, President Roque-Marc Caboret dismissed dozens of high-ranking soldiers in December replacing them with younger officers. Last week, security forces arrested several soldiers, accusing them of plotting a coup to overthrow the president. Fear, frustration and anger is fueling these protests. Despite attempts to stifle the demonstration, it seems this movement, calling itself Save Burkina, is gaining momentum. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera.